And welcome back to the show. Do you have problems with indigestion, bloating, gas, constipation, or diarrhea? There are things we don't want to talk about, but a lot of us deal with it. May is Digestive Awareness Month, and digestive health is very important for our well-being. Naturopathic Dr. Mandy Corwin is back with us today with some helpful tips that can help aid in your digestion process. Welcome back, Mandy. Hi, thank you. Good to see you. To we see were you. talking about the fact that people don't like to talk about these issues, but everybody deals with them. Exactly. I mean, I can't tell you how many people come into my office on a regular basis with a variety of these issues. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're not even coming in for these issues, but um, many people have them. It's just something they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Right, and they can mm -hmm. be uncomfortable, but they can be taken care of. Absolutely. That's, you've brought a variety of things today. We talked about you know different things like um, gas and bloating and mm -hmm. constipation and things like that. Mm -hmm. The first thing I want to talk about is the apple cider vinegar because yes. if you read the internet that seems to be the miracle cure for everything. Exactly, yeah, and I was just saying I, I use it more probably as a digestive aid for people. Mm -hmm. um, it's best taken before a meal. You can take just a little capful and it can be helpful for people, especially with heartburn, mm -hmm. with that tendency. Um, it helps stimulate the digestive juices in the in the body, your stomach acid and the enzymes that help break down food. So it's really helpful as kind of an overall digestive tonic. And it's very natural. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah, not a whole lot, a lot of harm can be done. Um, some people who do have heartburn, if they do have too much stomach acid, mm -hmm. sometimes that can aggravate things just a little. Uh -huh. But other than that, um, very safe. And if you can get past the taste. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. It's not for everyone. Now, one of the bigger things that we talked about is water. Mm -hmm. Water is very important to your digestive system to keep everything flowing. Absolutely, yeah. That's the big thing, keeping everything flowing and moist. Mm -hmm. um, I would say one of the biggest culprits when it comes to constipation would be dehydration. Mm. So water is very important. Um, trying to drink it away from meals is always best and drinking it throughout the day. You're going to be um, more hydrated that way and you're not going to be diluting those digestive juices if mm -hmm. you drink it all with a meal. Right, so because that, that's the best. thing we're looking for is balance in the acid and, and the pH of our stomach. That's true, yes. Mm -hmm. um, stomach acid is very, is very important, mm -hmm. and we don't want to dilute that when we're about ready to you know, eat some food. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the flowers are in the way, so I'm trying to see what's oh. next here. What have we got? We've got some... some... We have sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. um, that's a nice, one of the many sources of probiotics. Mm -hmm. You hear that a lot these days. Um, they do come in supplement form, but a lot of foods, especially naturally fermented foods, mm -hmm. have probiotics in them. And, and we hear that word a lot these days, exactly. probiotics. And is that about keeping the balance in the stomach as well? Exactly. It's um, a balance of the healthy bacteria in the stomach, mm -hmm. which really do almost everything in the digestive tract when it comes down to it. It helps break down our food. Um, it helps us with our immune system, amazingly. Um, Tons of, tons of functions, those bacteria. One of the things that of. I use a lot of is ginger because it helps with stomach queasiness, it helps with uh, nausea. Exactly, yeah, that's my favorite remedy for nausea for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's really easy, you know, you can buy it fresh like that or you can get it in a, you know, tea bag mm -hmm. as well. So it's kind of a quick and easy remedy. And a, a very natural remedy as exactly. well. Uh, I used to use it when I fly because I get air sickness so that, that helped a lot with that. Perfect. Going back to grandma's solution, prunes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Again, um, another nice source of soluble fiber, kind of a gentle fiber to help keep things going. You don't have to eat a lot, um, just a couple, three a day, kind of help um, as a tonic mm -hmm. basically. As a time, yeah. chia seeds—that is the new hot thing. <laughs> Are you hearing about them everywhere? Are they really the miracle that they're touted to be? Well, you know, again, they're a nice source of fiber. Um, if you ever have taken some chia seeds and put them in a little bit of water, they actually um, expand quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So they provide some bulk for the digestive system, and they have some nutrients. Um, they're a nice source of plant-based omega threes. How important is it to keep fiber in our system and make sure we get enough fiber in the day? I think for most people, it is very important. Um, a lot of us don't have that tone in our digestive system that's naturally supposed to push things along. Mm -hmm. um, fiber helps keep things going. Um, you know, you don't want to have to rely on it kind of as a supplement to keep things going. It's best just to ha make sure you're getting fiber in your food. Mm -hmm. And most, most healthy foods do have fiber. Yeah, like beets, what does that do for us? Beets, another excellent um, <laughs> form of fiber. It's a special kind of fiber that actually has been shown to help with constipation. Mm -hmm. um, the other nice thing about beets, it's a good source of potassium and magnesium 
which are really important minerals for the smooth muscle in the digestive tract, again, to help keep things going. And quickly, I want to point on calming the stomach, mm -hmm. you've got teas. Yes, um, a couple of my favorites. I like chamomile because, again, it's an overall digestive tonic, very mm -hmm. calming in the evening, which is nice. Yes. Uh, peppermint's great for actually gas and bloating. Helps with that specifically and um, nausea as well. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Well, a lot of natural things here that will help us with the problems that we don't want to talk about. Exactly. But people should talk to their doctor if they do think they have a serious problem. Absolutely. Um, get checked out first, but you know, these are more things for kind of everyday little problems that might pop up on, you know, an occasional basis. All right. Dr. Mandy Corwin, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. All right.